Hi there, this is Dawn Priolat of createyoursoulmate.com. Um, that's also the name of my YouTube channel is Create Your Soulmate. And this video is really in particular going out to my local meetup group. It's the Willoughby Create Your Soulmate group. And um, the purpose of this video, I just want to give you all a quick message. Um, I want to let you know we do have a meetup that is coming up and it's going to be on Wednesday. Let's see, that would be September 25th. I'm actually looking at it and it's at 6 p.m. Okay, and it's going to be at the Vista Springs Quail Highlands. It's a beautiful, beautiful space and I am so grateful uh, to them for allowing us to use their space and just to tell you a little bit about myself and why should you even come to this meetup or any of these meetups um, so a little bit about me my background is I am an energy healer okay and as part of my story part of my um, my path, my spiritual path, has brought me to needing to fix this area of my life, relationships. It was a particularly difficult place for me, a different part, uh, a very difficult part of my life. And it affected every area of my life, by the way, because the way that you, you know, the way that you do one thing is the way that you do everything. So if you're showing up in relationships um, like a beggar, if you're showing up in relationships taking crumbs, taking the scraps that are thrown to you, you're going to do that in every single area of your life. You'll notice it in your friendships. You'll notice it in your business and your money. Hello. Really, really important. And that's why so many women, when they finally do up-level, and they heal all of the childhood wounding that causes them to show up in relationships this way, they actually find that their income <laughs> will double or even triple. And, and that is something that I'm finding in my own life is that as I, to the degree that I feel more worthy and more deserving of love in all the good things in life, to that degree, I'm getting my pentacles together. I'm getting my money together, okay? And uh, I want to quote uh, my favorite Sufi poet. His name is Rumi. And he says, Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all of the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. And so for those of you who, you know, ask yourself, like, why is this just not happening? Why, why do all my friends have, you know, a good relationship or what appears to be a good relationship? Because you got to be careful of that little trap, too. Oftentimes what looks good on the surface, if you only knew, because I have lots of women clients and I found out that, you know, some of them have been married for, you know, more than 20 years, but there's not really much going on in their marriage. Like, there's no affection, no sex, no nothing, but that's a whole different story. But, but my point is, don't compare yourself to your friends or those people out there that you think they have this wonderful um, relationship, because it's not necessarily so. But I want to say to those of you who are, who are in this meetup group, we now have, I think, around 30 members, and I, and I want to welcome you all. And I hope you will show up on the 25th. And I hope you will also let me know, is that date good for you? Is the time not good for you? What works for you? Okay? Because what I'm going to discuss... Um, because I want to let you know, that's going to be the last meetup because I am leaving for Puerto Morelos, Mexico. Okay? I'm leaving on October 2nd and I will not be coming back 
until uh, I think it's the first week of no, actually, it's the second week of November, November 6th, I will be back. So we won't be having another meetup until like the middle of November, okay? So please try to make it to this meetup. If you can't make it to this meetup and, you know, a different time or a different day might work for you, please let me know. Um, that's the only way I'm going to be able, because my scheduling is pretty open but I need to hear from you you know what do you need how can I help you okay so and I want to tell you what we're going to discuss what the three ways that men test women two of those are about sex one of them is about money so we're gonna we're gonna talk about the two biggies and I want to tell you how this is going to be a little bit different because I know if you're here about your relationships you probably read a lot of books. You've probably seen on the internet. There's a lot of dating, dating coaches out there. And, and I want to tell you why what I do is different. I am not just a dating coach. First and foremost, um, I started out as uh, an intuitive reader. So um, I was doing intuitive readings, I was doing psychic fairs in Tucson, Arizona, and all over the world, really, because I've traveled quite a few places. Um, but the thing that I really like to do, instead of giving you an intuitive reading and saying, you know, going into futuristic things, you know, and, and speculating on that, what I would rather do is help you to, to be empowered to really create the relationship that you want. Because just because the cards say, um, yeah, this person really likes you, what good is that if the guy can't actually step up and pursue you and really show up to court you the way you want to be courted? Because you want to attract a masculine man. That is a man who's going to pursue you, a man who's going to call you, he's going to text you, he's going to do all those things that a masculine man would do. But in order for you to attract and keep, by the way, a masculine man, you're going to have to start showing up as a feminine woman. And I want to say to you, we've all been trained out of our femininity. We all have. It's not your fault. We've been told ever since we were young children that it's not okay to have feelings. And if you do, you better not show them. Um, as an example, how many of you heard this little saying? If you keep crying, I'm going to give you something to cry about. That was one that I heard repeatedly. Okay? So the message was there repeatedly that, you know, Showing emotion, having emotion of any kind is going to get you punished. It's going to get you hurt. So you got to stuff it all down. Stuff it down. And that's what we've been doing as women. We've been stuffing it all down, right? This is why we have addictions. We have food addictions. This is the root of so many issues. So, and I kind of went off on a tangent. But really, you guys, I really hope that you will show up for this final, you know, this is going to be the last time that we're going to have to get together. I had a meetup, uh, or I had a meetup scheduled last week, and nobody signed up. So please let me know what you need. Please let me know if the day is not good, if the time is not good, let me know. Okay? Um... And I want to let you know that as an energy healer, part of what I do is not just give you advice. I, I do believe the advice is good. It's good to know what to say, how to show up as a feminine woman, how to up-level yourself as a high-level woman, feminine woman. But it's also important that you be congruent in your energy, what I call your energy, which means your inner energy. Because even if I tell you, okay, this is how 
a, a high-level woman would respond to that text. And this is how you need to talk to him as a high-level feminine woman. If your inner energy is still, if you're still inside feeling like a beggar, feeling, you know, that unwanted, um, something's wrong with me kind of energy. And by the way, that's such a common energy that a lot of women carry is this, this feeling like there's something basically wrong with me. I'm not good enough which is why we show up in relationships like beggars and oh what can i do for you what can i what can i do to and this is the absolute energy that chases men away or at least the kind of men that you really want you can always pick up a man child with that kind of energy and some of you know exactly what i'm talking about there's plenty of man children out there there's plenty of men who are in basically their feminine energy and they will love if you will show up and want to fix them and mother them. But I'm going to show you how to start showing up as a feminine woman in order to attract a masculine man. Somebody who's going to court you. Somebody who is going to chase after you. Because we have to get back to who we truly are at our, at our core. And if you're born this time around in a feminine body, in a, in, a, in a woman's body, chances are you, you know, we all carry masculine and feminine energy. But women's bodies, our actual physical, biological bodies in general, are not built to carry masculine energy. We're, we don't have the testosterone levels for it. It's exhausting for us. And so we go to work every day and we're all about work, work, work. Let's get it done, get it done, get it done. This whole masculine energy that we bring into our, our work and our careers because we've been taught that that's what it takes is masculine energy. You can't be a woman at work. You can't be feminine. Okay, this is what we've been taught. Suck it up right? Be tough, be strong, be fierce. And so when you try to bring that energy on a date, is it any wonder that what you're ending up with are very feminine men? Or you just scare the crap out of men? So I want to show you how to turn that around. Okay, and it may take a little bit of time, but we're also going to do the work on your inner energy. Um, I use some very powerful energy techniques. Um, the main one I use is emotional freedom technique, and I also use something called sacred activations. And so these energy techniques will help to change your inner energy very quickly so that you can feel congruent in showing up as a feminine woman. And you don't have to show up with all this defensiveness. You can be soft on the outside, but at the same time, you can be very tough and very strong on the inside. So that's the key. So, again, welcome new members to the group, and I hope to see some of you on Wednesday and I welcome your comments uh, and, and questions. So hope to see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.